Oh, okay. This direct is getting interesting. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, broski. That's right. Boom. All right. We have some dope Nintendo Switch news items for this video. The first one is a banger, bro. It looks like we could be getting... An all new trailer for Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 at this up at an upcoming Nintendo Direct specifically for November, according to this rumor. And the game to launch holiday 2020. This is coming courtesy of 4chan. 4chan is like the wild west of rumors. Sometimes they're spot on. Sometimes they weigh out in left field chasing butterflies while the baseball game is going on. And so, take this with a grain of salt. But this seems very, very, very likely for Nintendo to do. Um, the first trailer just gave us a glimpse and left with so many questions. So many questions from this trailer. What happened to that rat that just got swallowed by that black mist? Did it turn into a boss? A giant mutated rat? We don't know. It was a mysterious trailer, bro. That's Ganon, more than likely. Resurrected back to life. I'll just head turn. Told you. So, um, a Nintendo... But, now here's the thing. Credible leaker Sabi. He did say that we're possibly going to get Terry Bogard from Smash later in November than earlier in November. He was claiming some sort of tie-in with a 7-Eleven ad and the fact that Terry Bogard wasn't included in this Japanese ad that more than likely he's going to be in the second half of November rather than the first half of November, which sort of corroborates with this Zelda rumor, the Zelda 2 rumor that uh, we might be getting a full out direct instead of one focus just on Terry Bogard, which would be lit for me. Now, my opinion, I think it might be too soon. We just, our last Nintendo Direct was at the beginning of September. Usually, Nintendo gives us about a three-month space before we get a big Direct, but I will not complain. So, according to 4chan, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, an all-new trailer in the next Nintendo Direct, and a holiday 2020 release date. This is when I said this game should release. I said, Nintendo don't need to do any new hardware next year, bro. Let Sony and Microsoft get their super duper um, processing computer consoles out. <coughs> and Nintendo just keep hitting us with software. Software is what sells consoles, bro. And the Switch is killing it primarily because the software has been lit. Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be lit, bro. So, uh, we're going to have to wait and see. All right. Next news item. Now, I reported on Overwatch 2 when it uh, first launched, uh, but at the, when it first got revealed. But at the time, the Switch version hadn't been, hasn't, wasn't officially confirmed. Not only is the game coming to the Switch, but we also have more insight on a launch date now for Overwatch 2. When speaking to the game devs, um, Jeff Kaplan, he was talking about the potential of Overwatch 2, and he pretty much says it'll be arriving in the near future. When asked, he says, I don't know yet. I don't, I have no idea, he said. Um, but this gives us a clue. The game, Overwatch 2, has been announced for PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I'm thinking 
It's going to be sometime in the first half of 2020. Based on they're focusing heavily on current generation. Now, are we more than likely going to get it also on next-gen systems? Yeah. It's probably going to look exactly the same as the Xbox One X and the PlayStation um, 4 Pro versions. But it's more than likely also coming to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet. But... Um, the fact that it's targeting current gen platforms means that it's probably going to be coming out before next gen hardware come out and probably just be upscaled and optimized for next gen systems. But the game is looking lit. I'm liking Overwatch on my Switch, boy. Overwatch is fire, boy. Uh, motion aiming for the win. All right. Next news item. This was pretty surprising and came out of nowhere. It's been recently discovered Nintendo had another Fire Emblem game in the works for the 3DS that was canceled, sparking speculation that this canceled Fire Emblem game is going to be remastered and uh, and come uh, and launched on the Nintendo Switch. And so, interesting, interesting stuff, bro. There was a Fire Emblem game that was canceled on the 3DS. Interesting to see how this plays out as far as a Switch version. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Straight Fire. The best Fire Emblem game I've ever played. I still haven't beaten it yet. That's one of the games in my backlog. I just beat Link's Awakening, though. Um, definitely gonna, I'm playing through Luigi's Mansion 3 right now. And so the backlog is sort of on the back burner right now, bro. The game just keep coming. That's why Nintendo, give us a break. After you launch Pokemon Sword and Shield, nothing for December, nothing even for January. Hit us with fi um, Animal Crossing in February, bro. And I'll be straight. Let me beat Fire Emblem, bro. I haven't even started Dragon Quest 11 yet, bro. Come on, Nintendo. Too many games now. Nintendo went from no games to too many. There's no in-between with them. Um, <coughs> but um, interesting to see if this 3DS um, game gets ported over to the Switch. Speaking of 3DS ports, Nintendo's global president did say that more 3DS remakes are on the way. You know, it'll be a lit 3DS game. When, when As soon as dudes heard of that, everybody was saying Kid Icarus, which I do think Kid Icarus should come, but that wasn't even my number one game. My number one game is Samus Returns on the 3DS. Samus Returns should be ported to the Switch from the 3DS. Second would be Kid Icarus. Third would be this fire right here, bro. Triforce Heroes. Either the same game upscaled and looking um, in HD for the Switch or an all-new Triforce Heroes. It was a four-player co-op Zelda game. This game is fun. When you're playing with three other dudes that you know, dope, 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 dope game. Um, Triforce Heroes, Straight Fire, put that on the Switch, boy. And we're coming to the end. We're coming close. Super Smash Brothers is officially <coughs> the best-selling fighting game of all time. You want to know what game previously held the title and why this is so significant? The, this, the title of best-selling fighting game was previously held by Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2 is my favorite fighting game of all time, bro. That's what I grew up on, bro, in the arcade. Dropping that quarter. I got next, bro. Back up. Back up. Hadouken. Hadouken. Stop, stop, stop. Say the blue. I remember missing my bus because I went over to the mall after school and was in the arcade playing Street Fighter. My bus left me and I had a two hour walk home. That's right, because of Street Fighter, boy. And so um, Super Smash Brothers has finally surpassed Street Fighter 2 as the best selling fight. And the crazy thing is, it didn't even take that long. Street Fighter 2 sold 15.5 million units but this game came out in 1991 S um super smash brothers sold 12 million in just three weeks but 
at the time of this, this is article according to digitaltrends.com, is past 15.7 million units by, by September 30th, making Super Smash Brothers the best selling fighting game of all time. Now, do I think it's the best fighting game of all time? No, I'm just my opinion. I've never been real huge on Smash. I'm more of a Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, 2D, quarter circle type dude. All right? But not saying it's a bad game, just because it's not for me. Doesn't say it's bad. But um, good to see, good to see, good to see. And I play Smash. I'm just not, I'm not good at it. I don't get it, bro. Um, I'm good to see that it's now the best selling fighting game. Now, this next news item that I'm about to show, huge spoiler. I'm giving you a warning. If you're a Pokemon fan, there's about to be a huge, huge spoilers in this video. You can click off right now. I know you're not going to because you want to be spoiled, but I gave you the warning. I've given you more than 10 seconds now. I'm blabbering to give you time. All right. I'm about to show the images, but Pokemon Sword Shield Evolutions have been leaking on the internet two in particular the final evolutions of Grookey and Sobble have leaked on the internet until Pokemon Company officially reveals it this could be just a very creative fan mocking this up but this is why this is somehow believable the Twitter account that leaked this was deleted. Those Nintendo Ninjas, bro. Those Nintendo Ninjas. And so, it looks like these are the evolutions for Grookey and Sobble. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Looks cool. Okay. I'm here for it. What do you think? All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click the subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Bye. We here for that Sobble action. We here.